Thank you for joining again for the webinar. My name is Mike Wood. I will be your mentor and presenter today. And we are going to talk a little bit about mindset. Uh, this is the most important thing with any business, with life. It, it is our mindset that determines our success. It is, uh, it is not about the details, okay? It is about how we uh, how we look at things. So I want to just kind of put together a few uh, thoughts here that are the basis of, of what I'm talking about and um, what I mean by this. So let's just uh, lay this out and have kind of a, uh, a list of things to think about. Mindset comes, uh, my, well, okay, mindset comes into play because of our uh, the circumstances. So our circumstances are the things that happen in life, the things that happen to us, the the facts that surround us. Okay. So those are facts. Those are things that that are solid, that are um, sure. They they occur. How we react. Those are something that we create. Okay, so we have our facts, we have our circumstances that uh, are occurring, and then when something happens, when we have that occurrence, then we move into the realm of thoughts. We have thoughts about what is occurring. We have thoughts about those facts, right? Then we have feelings that come as a result of those thoughts, and then those feelings and I'll add emotions in there. Uh, there's some uh, uh, discussion about whether uh, emotions and feelings are the same or which one comes first, but uh, we have feelings, we have emotions, which create action, which brings us our results. This is life. We create it, okay? And this is something that uh, I've been learning and understanding more and more lately as I've been studying mindset. We literally create our own reality. And I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen over and over and over. The problem that many run into is we don't understand that well enough to be able to manipulate it or to control it. And so we we come in with we come into this learning phase, you know, recognizing that that this is occurring and and learning about the the mindset of things. Um, from a background of creating a negative reality. We have negative experiences or things that we look at as negative. We have the facts, we have the circumstances that happen, and we have a thought that occurs that creates an, uh, a negative feeling or emotion that then cascades into a negative action, which gives us our result. So one, uh, the first one that I want to talk about here is the, the idea of shipping uh, because this one uh, came up earlier and uh, I thought it was a good example of this, this idea of helping us recognize mindset. And so as I was teaching a, a client about working with eBay and they were explaining that they hadn't uh, done much, uh, they, they didn't progress, they didn't do any more listings, and I asked, well, well, why not? And the concern was, well, because I don't have a way to get to the post office, I can't take things uh, down to the post office to ship them. And so if we look at, we dissect that and look at what actually happened there, the the experience was I have this opportunity to to start a business, right? That's the fact. Um, I guess we could say that there's a fact that something needs to be shipped. And the thought that came in is I can't get the item to the post office. So there's the first clue that this isn't going to help us progress because we're looking at I can't do X, Y, Z, right? And so what I want to help you guys do is I want you to, to expand your mind to, instead of doing the what if negative game, 
let's do a what if positive. Let's switch that game around. And so instead of saying, well, if I sell this, or what if I sell this, then I can't get it to, to be shipped, let's turn it around and say, if this sells, then how can I get it shipped? And start looking for solutions. Now, when you have a, a, a mentor like myself, then you can bring that question to me. So instead of making the, the decision, instead of having that thought and then letting that go to a feeling and emotion of, oh, well, I can't progress, I can't because, right? Instead of going that down that route, we, we change that from I can't to how can I? And we ask, how can I accomplish this? How can I make this work? And then if you don't have thoughts coming to you right away of how to do that, take it to your mentor. Take it to somebody else and say, hey, how can I do this? Okay? Well, the solution for this, for, for me, was easy because I've been doing this business for, for 20 years and I've learned over that time of the solution and the, the possibilities. So another benefit of having a uh, mentor, okay? Somebody who's been through it, somebody who has learned, somebody who knows how to, to make these things happen. And the solution is easy for this one. The fact is the mailman or the, the postal worker, uh, whoever it is, for us it's not a, a, a mailman, it's a mail lady, uh, they'll pick up packages from your home. And so, especially if you have a mailbox and you can put that package in and flip the, the flag up, uh, you know, we do that in the morning with packages that will fit in the mail, and they pick them up as they're coming and delivering the mail. That's their job. That's what they do. They deliver mail and they pick up mail. And if we have a larger package, most likely if it's too big to fit in the mailbox, it probably weighs too much to ship as a... Uh, first class package and so we're going to have to ship it most likely priority mail anyway and with the priority mail package we can go through eBay or through uh, USPS.com and request a pickup and so still we have an opportunity where on their regular route when they're coming and delivering mail and picking up mail they will pick up however many packages we put on the, the porch. And yes, I've put this to the test. I, when I did uh, my uh, um, Kickstarter campaign for my Viper Sharp business, for my, uh, my knife sharpening system that I sell, that I invented back in 2016, when I did that, I sold over 300, uh, well, over 250 or so uh of the knife sharpeners uh, and then I had some other uh, miscellaneous things but over 300 uh, total sales that that I had that I had to fulfill on and so as I started fulfilling on all that and putting all that together um, I, I ordered a pickup <laughs> and there were uh, several days there um, where I was putting stacks and stacks of packages on the porch and they were filling their little van full of my packages to pick up and that was a, that was to the extreme you know hundreds of packages within one week <laughs> was quite a, quite a lot for them to deal with that's not something you're generally going to have to to worry about in the beginning anyway hopefully your business will get to that point where you you've got that kind of thing happening and of course when that happens your business is going to be successful enough that it's paying for itself and paying for you to um, buy yourself a, a vehicle to take care of this. Okay, so that's that's the change there that that I want to help you do. I want you to look at things and say, well, how can I? Um, what if good instead of what if bad? So let's take this other question that we have here, and uh, I'm going to come back to the shipping. We're going to talk a little bit more about some of those. Uh, um, those thoughts but I want to I want to go over to this question here now and talk about I don't know what to sell that will make money rather than having to pay to sell things because shipping costs more than the offers coming in so 
here we've got a, a situation where uh, somebody's saying, well, hey, I've, I've received lowball offers, basically, on the things that, uh, that have been listed, right? So what I'm going to ask on that is how many items do you currently have listed? Okay, how many items do you currently have on your eBay listing? And so this is one of my first questions and my first thoughts because the fact is we have some, some listings out there on eBay and the offers that are coming in aren't high enough to cover the cost of shipping the item out. Okay, so we definitely don't want to, to run a business on a loss. And so my thought, because we all have these thoughts and we make these assumptions, right? So my first thought is, well, how many different things have you tried? Because I'm, a, I'm making the assumption that you probably haven't tried to sell hundreds of items yet. Okay. And uh, so uh, we've got, uh, okay, so 25 uh, items listed and four sold. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about then is the the law of uh, conversions on the, um, on the internet with a website business. Now this is a little different from eBay, but uh, with a website to look at conversions, a successful website would be expected to convert one to two percent of its visitors. So uh, that is a, a good conversion rate to to have one to two sales per hundred visitors that come through the site. Now it's important that you recognize this is not a guaranteed number of any sort or you know it's it's not like a um, a set thing and it's not per 100. This is a percentage and we would need far more than 100 visitors to the site before we would start seeing that kind of success. So we're just looking at, at a general percentage. But a, a website that is working well, that is functioning, that is doing the marketing that needs to be done and seeing a, a good sell-through rate, well, that good sell-through would be 1% to 2%. So if we take that kind of idea and, and apply it to what we see here, 25 items with four things sold, well, that's actually a pretty good conversion rate. And so the first thing I'm going to say is we need to increase the number of items that we're selling. And so that that gets into a little bit more of, uh, well, actually, let's go back to that previous question because that is a good question. Um, don't know what to sell that will make money. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is take out the last part of that sentence because the last part of it is where we have the negative thought coming in. So the circumstance is we're not we're just getting started with a business and we're not sure what to sell. That's a fact. That's there, right? Uh, but if we look at the second half of that comment, that expresses the negative mindset that happens. Um, make money rather than having to pay to sell things, right? So now we're we're putting in that thought and that assumption that people out there who are looking at our listings are not going to be willing to pay high enough for us to make a profit, right? That's the thought that, that you're having. And what do, what emotion does that create? What what feeling does that put within you? Not a good feeling. That's a feeling of of, of hopelessness, despair, a negative feeling, right? Doubt, yeah. And that doesn't help us progress. And so we need to change that around. Instead of adding that negative comment of rather than having to pay, we need to just stop at that question. That's a legitimate question of what should I sell that will allow me to make money? That's a great question. Now, let's start answering that question. Let's start brainstorming for ideas that will answer that question. That's where you need to go with it. So allow the question to come, but don't allow it to be a negative question. Or if it does come as a negative question, let's change it. Change our thoughts to positive. So that's something I want you to, to try and practice as you are going through your business this week. How do we change those thoughts around 
to become a positive instead of a negative because whatever thoughts we have are going to lead to our feelings and those feelings are going to lead to our actions which will give us our results and what we're trying to do when we start a new business here is change our results we want to change our life right we want to change the results that we're currently getting and in order to do that we have to go all the way back to the beginning we have to change the way we think about our circumstances so don't fall into despair or doubt or worry about, gosh, there isn't anything out there. Instead, let's start getting creative and write down all the possibilities of the things that can, that we could sell, that can make us money, and start looking for those opportunities and those things and seeing everything as an opportunity. Now, speaking about seeing opportunities, I want to go back to the shipping idea here. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, um, shipping uh, materials and resources and, and things. So I'm showing you here some items that I have shipped uh, on my eBay recently. And so if we look at uh, these uh, these things and think about how I, I ship these, in fact, uh, let's start with this one right here. So a while back, uh, oh gosh, it was probably, um, Two years ago, honestly, I think that I procured these. Um, I came into a lot, big box uh, at the surplus uh, auction of these no diving, danger, no diving signs, shallow water. And a uh, big old box. I mean, it was 20 inches by 20 inches square. It was probably hundreds <laughs> of these signs. And uh, uh, what I've found over the uh, uh, the last couple of years is they don't sell during the winter, but uh, they've done pretty good during the summer. They they sell all right during the summer, and uh, they they will bring in a, a decent price point. Uh, but they're kind of uh, an awkward thing to ship. They're long and flat, and so. How do we ship something like that? Well, I don't want to, to use a, a great big box. It's a standard size box because that's going to add additional uh, weight to it and push it over a, a pound. And now I'm going to be spending two or three times the amount in shipping because I would have to do priority shipping or FedEx instead of first class shipping. And so my mind, instead of saying, I can't make a profit from this because... I can't ship it or I can't, you know, because shipping's too expensive. My mind goes to how can I make shipping less expensive? And so that's the first thing I think about as a solution is how can I ship this in the least expensive way possible and still get it there safe? And I've done this a lot over the years with many businesses I've run, not just uh, eBay, but uh, websites that I've worked with. And uh, I'll make my own box. I have no problem with that. I'll, I'll, you know, I've, I've gotten pretty good at making my own boxes, and so that's my solution here. That's my thought: is I can either find something that will fit these, or take a, a bigger box and cut the the cardboard down, and and then just shape it and and make the uh, the box that I need. Because I do want a box so that this doesn't get uh, damaged or bent or or destroyed in shipping. Uh, I don't want to just put it in, uh, you know, a padded envelope or something like that because it might get crushed. So uh, that's my my solution. Is I think, oh well, gosh, I can just take this big box here and cut it here and cut it there and wrap it around and uh, yeah, it takes me a few minutes to do that. But if it takes me say five minutes to do that, let's see if I can get uh, how do I get back out of here now. I've got to move my stuff around to get to the, uh, there we are. So selling two of these for 17 bucks, you know, it, the shipping probably isn't going to cost me, uh, I don't think it would cost more than uh, four or five dollars here. And so I'm, I'm clearing ten dollars uh, uh, on this at least. So if it takes me ten minutes to make ten dollars, a dollar a minute, 60 bucks an hour. It's, it's not too bad, right? 
it's I mean it's it's worth doing it's and it's not every item all the time so again if we really want to look at it uh, there there are solutions and you've got to decide what the solution is that will uh, that will really make it worthwhile to you and realistically it probably doesn't take me 10 minutes to make a box it'd take maybe five uh, if that long so so I'm $120 an hour, right? so it's even better. All right, so where do we find uh, boxes and materials? If we don't have those things, well, where can we get them? Well, um, especially if we if we aren't, uh, you know, if we don't have a vehicle to go someplace, talk to friends and neighbors, right? Talk, talk to the neighbors. I've got a neighbor across the street that uh, runs a little business uh, installing uh, water softeners and... Um, uh, water purif uh, purifiers and so he's going through boxes all the time you know every day he's installing these different things and throwing away these boxes and and he brings them home and, and puts them in his uh, trash can and and I've seen him do that and I say you know I could really use some of those boxes those are perfect size for some of the things I sell could I have some of those and so he starts bringing me boxes and uh, because he learned that I sell on eBay he brought me home a big box full of packing material once and said, hey, I'll bet you could use this. I said, yeah, I can. Thank you very much. Well, guess where I get all my packing material now? <laughs> I've got an unlimited supply. Anytime I need packing material, I just say, hey, Brian, can I get some more of that packing material? And he brings me a, a box stuffed full of the packing material, and he brings me boxes, and he brings me zip, Ziploc bags to put some of my stuff in. And uh, he he supplies me with all of this stuff just because... He's a friend, he's a, he's a good neighbor, and he knows that I use this stuff to sell on eBay. And so just talking to somebody, just letting them know what I'm doing, he brings me some of the supplies that I need. There are inexpensive uh, places online to buy these supplies, um, and I'll pull up a, a website for one of those here that I use. Uh, and as you grow your business, eBay offers uh, some of that too. So let's uh, show you this first here. EcoSwift.com is one of the best places to go for supplies. There's their name there, EcoSwift, E-C-O-S-W-I-F-T. So if you do need to buy nice boxes or new boxes, there's a way to do it. Uh, if you want to, uh, if, if you're able to get out to a store, uh, any store, any store, think about it. If you have a store around the block or, uh, or up the street that you can walk to or a Walmart that uh, somebody can take you to, they're stocking all the time and throwing away boxes uh, that things are coming in. Hey, it's eBay. It doesn't matter what we're we're using. I reuse boxes all the time. I just sent something out today that came uh, that had uh, it was in a um, an Amazon box, something that we bought from Amazon. We saved the box. Uh, I think it just came yesterday or the day before, and I taped it up again and and sent it out to with the the item in it today that I sold on uh, eBay or, or Etsy. I think it was Etsy actually. And so it didn't cost me anything. I save uh, all of those and, and reuse them, flatten them, tape them back up, and reuse them. I get my tape, by the way, from uh, some of my tape from EcoSwift. Well, another resource that we have from eBay, I've got it saved in my uh, um, list of tools here. If you have an eBay store, so once you build your business up to a point where you've got an eBay store, they give you a coupon to use for your eBay, uh, eBay store. Okay, So right here we can see eBay shipping supplies, $25 coupon with a basic store subscription. So if you have a basic store subscription, you've got $25 to use toward eBay branded supplies that they will ship to you. So I've gotten a lot of supplies basically free from eBay where I use those. Uh, that's how I ship my uh, my cactus, these little cactus that I ship. I'll put those in these little eBay boxes. Whether I ship it here on eBay or on Etsy, I use the eBay box. Uh, if you 
as you grow your business and you, you sign up for one of the higher level stores on eBay, which incidentally will save you money, then they give you a bigger coupon. And so you can go in there and, uh, oh, and see, I've already recently redeemed this. I got a big box, of, a, a case of, um, of tape. Uh, in fact, let's go look at uh, what I ordered from them. So you can see that. So again, basically free or close to free um, supplies here. So here it was, uh, eBay branded boxes, $28.48. I used my $25 coupon on that. So uh, after uh, I think taxes and everything, uh, it cost me four or five bucks <laughs> to get um, all the, oh, that's just the boxes. That was uh, the eBay branded boxes. Oh, that was funny to see what they how they delivered that. Um, oh, the tape was from EcoSwift. That's why I'm not seeing it in here. So tape, I bought uh, a case of that from EcoSwift. So five bucks for uh, thirty dollars worth of, of eBay boxes. Okay. So there are there are opportunities out there to help you with your business. Look for the good look for the solution look for the what if good how can i make this happen and don't look at that as oh how can i ever make this happen <laughs> right not how can i ever make this happen thinking and feeling that you can't make it happen but instead how can i make this happen where is the solution what is, i know there's a solution out there i know there's a way for me to make this happen where is it what is it what can i do okay i could do this i could do that i could do that right and we start we start brainstorming the solutions and we start thinking of the the possibilities and as you do that you start thinking of the possibilities pretty soon you're you're seeing money and and the options that are coming at you all over the place that you didn't expect before um, here's a prime example of something that I saw at a surplus auction and I saw an opportunity there I saw money this was one item in uh, a big uh, pallet uh, in a box that was on a pallet. So several boxes on the pallet, and I saw this one item and and uh, looked it up, and sure enough, on uh, eBay something similar had already uh, had recently sold for 50 bucks. And I thought, oh well, that one item right there will pay for the entire pallet. <laughs> so how can I make this pallet profitable, right? And I, uh, I bought the pallet and sold many different items, but this one just recently sold 40 bucks. That cost me, uh, uh, you know, four dollars in uh, in fees and three dollars to ship it. So I only made, uh, you know, 30, 32 dollars on that item that literally cost me pennies when you can you take it uh, from everything else. Creative thought: How can we make this work? How can we um, make this go instead of <clears throat> the negative of you know, we, we can't idea, right? So always be uh, um, positive, always look for the solution, knowing that the solution is there. Uh, so when we get back to what to sell on eBay, well, gosh, go to the thrift store. What do you see in the thrift store? And that's another one I want to bring in. Um, let's just do a, uh, let's just uh, bring this up and do a, a search. Uh, If we can do a little search here and find an image to give you a visual to think about here, right? So, right there, beautiful. So we pull that up, and let's see uh, uh, if we can open image in new tab. Let's open that up so we can see a larger version of this image, hopefully. Right there, what do you see? Okay, when you see this, what what thoughts, what feelings do you have in, in your mind? So some people will see this, and this is a fairly uh, decent looking uh, thrift store. Actually, I've seen more that are, you know, I've seen some that are that are look more cluttered and, and stuff just piled all over the place. But some people look at this and, and they see junk, right? And it's just, just a big pile of junk. There's a mess of of stuff that people didn't want, right? What if there's something of value here, right? So we look at this and we say, okay, well, 
let's see what this uh, item sells for uh, on eBay. Uh, does it have any markings on the bottom? What about this little toothpick holder here? What about this uh, pyramid candle right there? Uh, would somebody buy that? What about this flute player doll right over here? Uh, you know, when we start looking at these things and actually see what they might be worth, and you'll find it somewhere in here, like this looks like a clock right back there. We might turn that over, look at the bottom or the back, and we see a $2 price tag on it and a name on the back, and uh, lo and behold, that's a, a mantle clock that uh, over on eBay, um, maybe it sells for 40 or 50 dollars right um, maybe it's uh, and we can scroll down and look at some of those things so what to sell start looking you know that's a great question but let's let's make it a positive and say okay what can we sell and go look for items right so here's a, a mantle clock that sold for 60 bucks there's one for 30 bucks there uh, there's some old ones here. Here we go, $44.99. Well, gosh, if we didn't look at it, if we looked at this and thought, there's just a bunch of junk here, we might not see value. But if we turn that clock over and looked at the, the brand on it or an item number or something like that and look it up, we might just find out that it's worth $44. And if it has a 2 or $3 or even a $5 price tag at that uh, potential, I'd buy it. Right now, of course, when we do this, when we look at thrift store items or yard sale items or anything like that, uh, uh, where we're looking to buy something to resell, make sure that you are seeing you, you've got to be very, very confident. So either you have experience enough to know that it's going to sell or you are seeing the exact same item selling on eBay, not something like it, but the exact same item, model number, brand and everything. It is what's selling. And if you see it selling for a high enough price above what it's going to cost you to ship it, right? Because that item uh, is going to have some shipping costs there. And I'll talk a little bit more about saving on shipping here in just a moment. So we need to have some income, some profit potential. We need to cover our fees. And we need to cover our shipping. But if we see a $2 price tag on that and it's selling for 40 bucks, hey, we got room. <laughs> if that costs us $20 to ship that thing, which it won't, we've got room for a profit. All right, so what are some of the other things we can do to help with uh, shipping and our, uh, to help us make money? So let's go out to USPS.com. Again, looking for solutions, right? We're looking for solutions here instead of, oh gosh, I can't make it happen because X, Y, Z. Um, and actually, I don't even need to go out there. I can do this right here on eBay. If we just go into my eBay account, uh, we'll go in here again, and I'll show you how we find solutions. So we come into my items. I don't have any awaiting today. Uh, you know, at this moment, they've all been shipped out. So let's come into this uh, here and let's let's just look at this. Actually, I need to go to in here to the um, print shipping label page. When you go into the print shipping label page for any eBay item, if eBay will catch up for me here. <laughs> there we go. Print shipping label. When we go into the print shipping label page, we have options there. And we can we can change details and we can move uh we can you know choose what to, we want to to do for shipping. So notice here I've got USPS shipping or a FedEx shipping, or I have all options. I have custom size and I have carrier packages, right? So if we do USPS custom size um and we say hey it's you know this big. Let, let's say that we've got uh, one that would be uh, uh, maybe a um, let's say it's nine inches by six inches by four inches, but it weighs two pounds and nine ounces. So we update that and see what is what is the shipping going to be. Oh gosh, eight dollars and ninety two cents. Uh, you know, are, are there cheaper options? And so we look at this. Now, this actually, this is cool because, uh, and I, don't, I think this is something that eBay's doing um, fairly recent here, but they're showing the uh, options, and uh, they show me here that 
they're putting in this regional box A. So that's good. If we just did a traditional priority mail package on this, we're, we're paying $9.54. But this regional box A package brings it down to $8.92. We can go down here to compare all services and we look at the other options down here. We've got parcel select, we've got express mail, they all look higher, right? Well, remember this carrier packages link up here at the top? Well, let's go find out what that's all about. Carrier package, all right, well, what does this do? Oh gosh, look, flat rate envelope. Well, if we can put it in an envelope, it doesn't matter whether that envelope stays flat. If it seals, that's then it'll, it'll ship, all right? Um, priority mail legal flat rate envelope, 715, 745. Well, what if I want a padded uh, envelope? Oh, look, USPS priority mail padded flat rate envelope. So if it'll fit into that, then $7.75. So there are options to do cheaper shipping. If the first option comes up and, and says, hey, it's going to cost $18 to ship, but you can get it in a regional box A, then you can probably knock that down to at least 12 or $13, possibly even uh, uh, seven or eight, depending on where it's going, okay? And so there are uh, um, cheaper shipping uh, possibilities here. I'm gonna have to do a little uh, uh, blurring on some of that, so I'm not showing somebody's address information out there. So there, there are solutions. So that's what I want you to, to think about is don't let anything stop you. You are starting this to change your life. You are starting this to make a new life, to, to build a business, to do something more, right? So if we want to do something more, if we want to do something different, then we have to think different. We have to act different. We have to we have to put in those different thoughts and actions, those different emotions and feelings, so that we're not continuing to get the same things that we always get, okay? And so that's what I, uh, I hope that you'll get out of this today as we talk, is to understand that there are other possibilities, there are things that you can do. There's always a solution. There's always something that will help you make this work to to get to the next level of success. That's what you need to look for. If you're having the negative thoughts holding you back, I can't because, I can't because, I can't because. Okay, if any of those XYZs are coming in, go listen to, to some positive uh, books, some positive uh, mindset uh, um, webinars uh, online or something like that. Um, uh, I've found uh, recently here that The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, one of the best books ever written and one that many of the mindset uh, um, coaches use today to guide their uh, their teaching uh, is available on uh, uh, YouTube to listen to free. And that is, um, let's see, you know, it's uh, The Science of Getting Rich. And I really think it needs a, a, a different title. But here you are. You can listen to the entire um, book of The Science of Getting Rich right there on YouTube. And so it gives you something that you can listen to to help you with the mindset without, uh, without even having to buy the book uh, if you need to. I like to listen. Listening... Uh, uh, it inspires me to, to hear somebody talking uh, with these books. Um, I like to do that as I'm driving. I like to have that uh, playing in the background. Uh, but I also have some of these books that I physically read and, and work with as well. So fill your mind with positive things. If you will do that, you will change your mindset. You will change your thought patterns. You will change your emotion and feeling patterns. And you'll be able to make that switch. It's not going to be quick and easy. It's going to take some time to do this. But if you will put in the effort to do it, then you'll start seeing the solutions. And so that's what I hope for you is that you will see those solutions come about. So get out there, put it into to effort, look for the solutions, ask the questions, that's fine, but ask the questions with an idea of, I will find the solutions. They're out there, I know they're out there, what are they? 
and then you'll find the, the possibilities. Okay, and then c keep throwing everything out there. Uh, as far as what to sell uh, online, uh, another thing uh, you could do is go out and look for my um, look for my name, Mike Wood, um, Creative eBay. I have a whole playlist of Creative eBay webinars here. 47 currently in that uh, list, and I'm adding more all the time that talk about the kind of thing I'm talking about tonight with many of these showing you how to think creatively, how to see opportunities and ideas. Uh, you know that packing material that my neighbor brings to me? You could sell that on eBay. And I'll end with this. We'll just show you real quick. Um, used packing material. Um, see if that... Uh, comes up here. Um, so basically once you use all these masks, it's interesting. Um, we want to come down and sort our list by used items. Um, packing foam might be a, a good way to do that, but I'm trying to check on the used. Uh, there we go. Adjust that here. And so um, here we've got, and I don't know why it's these are coming up for um, Let's change that from material. That's why, because we got material in there to foam. Used packing foam. So I could turn around and sell this stuff that he's bringing to me, and uh, resell it on eBay here. And there, there's uh, this is different stuff, but uh, um, thick stuff that's that's selling. But I have seen some of the. This is like thinner. Uh, um, wrapping uh, foam that that I use, packing material. But um, here we are looking at used foam that people are selling on eBay. And I'm telling you, you'll probably find a lot of um, that kind of stuff being thrown away by different businesses <laughs> in your area. So there are lots of opportunities. Look for the opportunities. Don't think that they aren't there. Don't think that you won't find them. You might stumble upon a gold mine.